I do not want to marry Sophie. It's too late. No, it's not too late. And it wouldn't be the first time an engagement was broken. The king cannot give scandal, cannot expose himself to horrible and justified criticism. They will be merciless. And this is the reason why I should be merciless towards Sophie? The Lord will be merciful to her. Leave it to him. I am deceiving her. You knew that from the beginning. She isn't marrying me out of sheer ambition. I hadn't realized that... If Sophie loves you, you can only rejoice. She loves me now. But she will come to hate me, as I will hate her! What entitles you to such presumption? How can you claim to know what the Lord has in store for you? You are asked only to marry her and to have children! Listen to me, Ludwig. When the devil sends temptations, they must be turned back against him. They must be used to honor God. In the darkness of room, aided by the image of sin itself, you will realize that the warmth of one body is the same as another's. Father, you are teaching me something new. Your people want you to be one of themselves, more powerful, more privileged, touched by divine providence, but still one of them. If you insist on being different, they will never forgive you, never. Wagner was driven from Munich because he is a genius. That was what made him a foreigner. He was different. Ludwig, you are one of the Lord's favorite because you are more exposed to sin than others. And so you can prove more than the others can your love of God. I know from your own lips that until now you have always had the strength to resist temptation, to reject sin. Yes. I want you to tell me if this is still true. Yes. I ask you this as if in the holy sacrament of confession. Yes. Ego te absolvo in nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <laughs> 